Hello, hello, my lovely friends and family. Hope you're all well. Um, it's Saturday today, so I thought I'd give you an update. As I haven't given you one for a while, I don't think. I can't remember. Um, so, another one. Uh, my face. You can see the state of my face. I have fluxocytis, which is where the chemo has caused an adverse uh, sweating reaction the chemicals from the chemo have caused me to sweat in a strange way um, on all the tiny 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 hair follicles on your face that you don't ever really know about pores and stuff um, they fill up with gunk um, well that sounds terrible <clears throat> they get very swollen and red and puffy as you can see and they're quite painful um, so I'm having to take antibiotics again and cream I've got cream and body wash face wash stuff that I have to put on my face and it's on my chest as well which is not nice but we get in there it's one of the apparently it's one of those things that happens unfortunately um I woke up yesterday not being able to swallow at all I felt like I was swallowing glass which is horrible um, so called the out of hours service and was sent to the GP went to the GP my lovely grandparents took me to the GP for me um, and then was sent to A&E because the doctor was worried that I could have a viral infection that was in my throat because she couldn't see into my throat um, that could cause my throat to swell up which again is something that you know with the chemo is it's not very likely, but can happen. So she sent me to A&E. So I spent most of yesterday in A&E. Um, lovely doctors. Thankfully they sent me home again. <sighs> um, had intravenous antibiotics. Um, unfortunately the chemo gives you oral thrush, which is it's not nice. It's um, <clears throat> basically like sores. And, and you know when you eat something like too crispy... And it kind of rubs the top of your mouth and it makes it sore. It's kind of like that all over. Um, and it looks like um, I'd managed to have, like, it, it gone down my throat slightly, which has caused the problem with the with the swallowing and stuff. So I they put me on intravenous antibiotics, which have worked wonders, because now I can swallow. And most of the thrush has, has cleared up, which is really nice, because I can actually now eat without being in like a lot of pain um i am taking it slowly though because obviously i don't want to go too far and then just go backwards and cause myself more problems um so yeah so i'm absolutely exhausted from that um dad's drilling in the background uh in other news hair has started falling out um i haven't had to <laughs> i haven't had to shave my legs um which is nice. People pay lots of money for that. Just get chemo. No, don't get chemo. Mm -mm. No, chemo is not nice. I would not recommend chemo. But I might, I might not have to shave my legs for six months, which would be nice. That's a joke. Um, so yeah, just kind of taking it easy, really. Dealing with different bits that go on on Tuesday. I go up to London to stay for five days. So... I will be in London from Tuesday to Saturday overnight um, and mum's coming to stay with me when she's not at work during the day. I do feel bad for her. Um, but we asked, they do, they do provide, it's called the Cotton Rooms. So they do provide, it's all UCLH funded. Um, they are your basic hotel room. Um, so just, yeah, just stand up there with me. And I've got five days of constant chemo, which is fun. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where we are now. Um, thank you again for all the support you guys have given. Um, so now it's just kind of sleeping, eating and preparing for chemo. Chemo is not fun, but we're getting there. Chins up. No, don't look at my chin. Chins up, head down, we're getting it done. See you later.